this time of year, I'm sick of winter. The cold, the woolly jumpers, the bare leafless trees. Every day when I walk my dogs, I look for signs of hope that spring will come. Not seeing many today though. No sign of leaves. No, nothing. Not much on the ground either. A little bit of green, but not much. But look, if I look more closely at this or any other branch, I see that there are buds and that these are a real sign of hope, that there will be leaves and spring will come. I'm going to look at this branch every day or every week when I go come by on my dog walk. If you have a park or a garden or even can see plants out of your window, have a look at a plant and just see the signs of hope that spring will come. If you, for anyone who doesn't have access to plants, I'm going to be sure to take pictures of this branch and post them up on the Young Church page so that everyone can see how spring is coming. What we're aiming to do for the artwork today is to make a parachute. Now, I am remembering that materials are very hard to come by and I am just hoping that most of you have got a paper napkin somewhere in your house. That's what this is, a bog standard paper napkin from a well-known Swedish supply store. Um, we have um, a large number of them at home because uh, we buy them in bulk. The next thing you do is to spread it out in front of you and suggest to your kid that they might like to draw on it. You have to be a little bit careful if you're drawing on a paper napkin because they tear through very easily. I found hearts which I can draw freehand were quite fun. Um, but basically it doesn't matter. This is just a bit of fun to make the thing work. This is one I made earlier and you can see the limits of my drawing on it. I have got some really quite creditable hearts. I didn't do too badly with the punctuation marks. My attempt at a whale and a seahorse were distinctly inferior and I don't think we will mention the palm tree drawn in the wind. But the thing still works despite my dodgy artwork. What you then do, ideally wool, if you've got any. If you haven't got any wool, wool is what you haven't got in the present circumstances. Any kind of string or thread will do. But the best thing for this job, if you've got a scrap of it, is wool. And you take the wool so that it measures one and a half times the breadth of the napkin. So you put one loose end to the middle of the napkin, you stretch it to that end, you pull it back to that end, you cut it off there, and that gives you the length they should all be. And then you take four of them, measuring them against each other. And that gives you four. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just cutting them at the bottom. And then I need to make sure that all the loops are also cut at the top. That gives you four strings and you tie a string onto each corner. If you've got older children, they can do this themselves and they're going to be niftier with their fingers than I am. If you have got very little children, sorry guys, you're probably reduced to doing it yourselves. You put the ordinary couple of granny knots. If you're really good, you can turn them into reef knots. One to each corner like that. Then when you have got all four on together. Um, for those of you old enough, this is in the best traditions of Blue Peter, one I made earlier. You tie a knot, not too tight to the end. You want 
at least that much left over and you tie a simple over and under knot. That round all the loose ends through boing, like that. And that gives you a nice secure knot, nice big fat knot and loose ends. And you can then take whatever you have. A Lego figure, if you're up with your toy story, you'll know that little green army men are very popular. Ideally, you want a lightweight plastic figure. If you haven't got a lightweight plastic figure, a paper clip will do, or the lid of um, a felt tip pen. But you don't want anything too heavy, and it won't work as well if you don't have anything too light. You then take the parachute. Now, if you have a nice big tenement stair, you are laughing if you have stairs in your house. You are also laughing. If you are only an average height person stood in a living room, it will still work. If you are still going for walks in the park, this is a good time to do it. Oh, it's fallen on the chair. How very dare it. Let's move the chair out of the way. I am a five foot six tall female with no especial physical prowess. There is my figure. There is my beautifully ornamented parachute. I am standing on tiptoe. And that shows you the power of air. And it's also good fun to do. And it's also on the STEM STEM curriculus. So it's an all round good thing to do.